Hey, hello, there's me, RJB from RJB TV, and welcome back to an epic battle between Brain and Beal, a mirror battle of absolute manliness. Only the manliest of these two players will come out on top and call themselves the victor, the champion, the whatever else you want to call it. We have, let me just uh, change this real quick. Okay, so we have, right here on the board, we have Brain on the name Barcode, a Barcode, and Zhang Fe, also known as Biol. At this time, at this point in time, Brain did not know that Zhang Fe, or Zhang Fe, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, maybe you should go with the American pronunciation, you know, Zhang Fe, Zhang Fe, Zhang Fe, I'm not sure how you, how you pronounce this. It's a Chinese name, I've got no idea, but it's Biol. It's Bill here on the red Protoss, and at the, this point in time, Brain did not yet know that this was, in fact, Bill. So he went in a little bit unsuspecting of the truth of the matter. He simply did not know. He simply did not know the truth. How will this affect his gameplay? I don't know. Is Brain the kind of player to play cocky and underestimate his opponent, or is he the player to always play serious and go all out against whoever he is playing against. I mean, I'm pretty sure that if you know your opponent is Beal, who is considered to be, perhaps, a top 5 player in all the fastest map in 2v2, 3v3, and 1v1, you would be a little bit more serious than if you were to play, for example, against me, who is not even in the top 100. So yeah, depending on who you're up against, it does change what you do, and how you do your things, and how you manage yourself, your, the mental game, so to speak. The mental game is different if you know you're up against someone who is really, really good. And of course, Biel here knows that he's up against Brain, but maybe Brain does not know he's up against Biel. Who knows? Who knows? I don't. It's all guesswork at this point. I'm just gonna really quickly see if I maybe have casted this, because I don't remember casting a Protoss against Protoss between these two from January, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. So let me just really quickly look it up on my channel, because I should know, but for some reason I'm doubting whether I am correct in my knowledge. I'm doubting myself. Well, it turns out that I haven't casted this before, so yep, yeah, we're in the clear, we're safe. So someone in the comments recently asked me if I could do more mirror matchups, and you know what? If there's Brain against Biol lying around in a mirror matchup, then of course we're going to be looking at Biol against Brain in a mirror matchup. I've got another set between these two lying around, and I might do that one sometime soon. I kind of want to mix things up. I wanted to start with the Protoss against Protoss because that is the easiest to find in the most common matchup of all. So both players meeting each other on the middle of the map after going for a Nexus, Gateway, 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 Gas, Build Order. And we have a Cybercore coming up for both players. We have Bill going for a second gas faster than Brain. The Zelda there up in the middle of the map for both players. We have more Zeldas on the middle for Brain than for Biol, which means Biol is looking to defend himself against Brain's aggression. Now Brain gets the... gets a couple of hits there on that one frontal Zealot, so yeah, I'm not sure which person has the lead here. The micro on this play is very good for both players, as they're both professional players, but Brain was a Protoss main, so I expect him to do a little bit better with the Zealot micro than Biol. Because Brain, of course, being a professional Protoss player, simply has more experience microing Zealots. And I think he... well, I'm not too sure actually. Because in 2v2 and 3v3 on fastest map, people play a lot of Protoss. So it might just be the case that maybe Biol by now has more experience microing Zealots and Dragoons because he plays so much team games. He plays so many team games at the highest level. He might just have more experience microing Zealots than Brain does. Who knows? I don't. You're just gonna have to wait and see how this plays out. So far, Brain has a supply. Ah, the supply is the exact same, really. Because Bill has two more probes than Brain. Supply is the exact same. So we have one more Zealot or Dragoon on the map for Brain than for Bill. The difference in the probes tells us that Brain has a slight army advantage. So we have a Robotics, a Citadel coming up there, and a Forge for Beal getting the Zealot speed. Whereas Brain is going for Robotics and Dragoon range. 
He's planning on using very strong Heavy Dragoon Micro without speed on the Zealots to try and get an advantage over his opponent. Whereas we can see that Bill is going for a slightly more reliable method of getting the Zealot speed as well. Hmm. How is this gonna play out? We got five gateways there for Bill. Fight there happening in the front. The Zealots from Brain are a low HP, but he simply has more Zealots, so the Zealots can do more tanking. Looks like it's now Dragoons against Dragoons. Zealots are spawning there for Bill. Bill has the defender's advantage. He has a unit spawning here back at home, which will help out with defending. The Zealots push back to the goons, who's going to do some little bit of microing as more Zealots from Brain Space are coming in to join the middle of the map. Supply counts more or less the exact same. Brain seems to be in the lead, catching a Zealot with very good control there. Also building pylons there on the side of the map to get more vision to defend himself against shuttle drops from Buell, who's getting a support observatory. He got a Templars archive as well, so he's gonna go for storms most likely. Maybe there are Templars, but yet there are Templars around the way. We have a shuttle on the way as well. We have support bay finished up. We've got a fight happening in the middle again. Playing level one attack as well. We have Zealot Speed coming up for Brain now as well, getting an observatory as well for those dark Templars that he's expecting on the middle of the map. So Biel is gonna to try to get an advantage with Dark Templars. And then of course Brain is gonna to have to stop the Dark Templars with an observer. Looks like now in the middle of the map that Brain is losing the fight. He's losing the fight slightly, although he's going to try to turn it around. Okay, he wins the... F it's, it's, it's dead even. It's dead even. Both players are playing their hearts out with non-stop micro while building back at home, not missing a single second of spending. Although, as I say that, Beal does have a lot of mineral stuff in the bank, but he's spending them right now. Got an observer out of the middle of the map there for a brain. He's going to try to turn this around. The Dark Templars are no longer a problem. They're moving to the sides of the map to clear out those pylons open up a path for the shuttle drop. It's going to be a reaver shuttle drop. Shuttle speed is on the way, and so is level 1 attack. We have Biel getting level 1 attack faster than Brain. He's got speed faster as well. Supply counts are the same. Trying to hunt down that Dark Templar. Going to get it, but he's going to get caught out on the middle of the map. That might have been a wrong choice there from Brain, because now it's Dragoons and Zealot are singled out. Separated from his main army. He's trying to get them back to his main army, but that might have just toppled Hmm, maybe it did not. I thought I was going to topple the middle fight in favor of Biel, but Brain gets back into the driver's seat, back in the lead yet again. He managed to wipe the floor with Biel's army. So now there's a 20 supply difference. It's all going to come down to the reaver shuttle drop, changing the fate in the course of the game. Can Biel stay alive? A supply lead starts to snowball very quickly in these kinds of games. Getting more gateways. He's getting 11, 9 gateways in total. 9, 10. 10 gateways. I'm gonna go for the cannon. Drop is leaving. Drop. The drop is either gonna make or break the game. He's gambling now. He's gambling on hitting and killing a lot of probes. If he does not, Brain wins the game. If he kills some probes, Bill is gonna be a happy man because he might just win the game. I'm gonna go for. Oh, the situation is very bad for Brain. Loses 10 probes, he's gonna lose even more. Cannon's on the bottom, gonna take it down. Brain is trying to push for the win, but the Observer is out on the side as the Templar is wiping and swiping away at those Dragoons, killing them all. So Beal turns the game around into his favor. These armies in the clear, Brain is slipping up badly because he has to keep his probes alive. But as a result of having to keep his probes alive, he is, oh, Reaver on the scene. The Observer is still there on the top, Dark Templar is still hacking away there on the middle of the map. Dark Templar really cleaned out all those Dragoons. He's trying to get closer onto those probes with the Reaver. Zealots are trying to buy time. Reaver's still alive, Reaver's trying to kill those cannons to get in closer and deeper. He's got 45 probes, 61 probes there for Buell. Buell has a massive bank, Brain does not. Buell has a supply lead as well, but the supply lead is entirely in, uh, in probes. The probes are the supply difference so at the moment. Brain still has the upper hand because his army is bigger and stronger, and he has the advantage with the push and a Reaver show there on the seat. Reaver is on the way for Bill, and so is Storm. That might be his last chance to turn the tide. Might be his last chance to turn the tide. A little bit less loud. The Reaver there is being scary. It's cleaning out, slowly progressing, slowly trying to take down those cannons. Reaver Shuttle there stays alive there though. Okay, he's gonna... Shuttle's on low HP. Reaver's still alive. You're back at home, he's producing another one. 
Another reverse there is on the way. Fight still progressing there inside of Bill's base. Brain is playing his brains out. He's playing his mind out. He's playing absolutely fantastic. If not for that reaver drop sneaking through, this might have been a completely different game. Oh, he's gonna have to keep that reaver alive. One reaver gets sniped, the other one. Oh, shall I get sniped as well? Both shuttles are down. One reaver still alive. Mortal Goons arriving on the scene, but now Buell has the advantage with having a reaver to micro. And the reaver gets a huge shot off on some dragoons and clears out that side of the base. Although, the reaver goes down, but one more is getting picked up there in the back. He's got 64 probes. He hasn't been making probes at all for the past couple of minutes. Drop flies out over the bottom side of Brain's base. Brain is responding to it. Dragoons are trying to snipe this. Probes make their escape just in time. Shoulder goes down, temper goes down, probes stay alive, 49 probes still alive there for Brain. Still has an army advantage, he's on 110 supply against 110 supply. But, as I said before, Bill has 15 more probes, so that's 15 less army supply. And Brain is slowly pruning, slowly pushing deeper in on Bill's base. Reinforcements coming in, gonna try to snipe that reaver, no, it's a rally point, it's a bad rally point. The goon is out there, going all the way to the back, wasted 2 units. So now Biel's play is starting to get a little bit sloppy. Starting to get a little bit sloppy. Because it's just so damn hard to keep everything on track while you're playing against Brain, who's trying to out multitask you, out micro you, and out macro you as hard as it is. But can Biel still make a comeback? Can so many gateways there on the side? So many gateways there on the side. Bill is doing his best to stay alive, and Bill might just do it. Maybe gets one big shot off. A lot of the goons there went down on the right side. What, what are the upgrades? We got some like, temples on the way there from Bill as well. Bill managed to snipe the observer. The observer is nowhere to be seen, so the Dark Templar might turn the tide yet again. Let's try to snipe those cannons. Is he trying to open? Oh, he's gonna try to get the Reaver. The Reaver goes down before it shoots a scarab. He's gonna try to get the goon there on the side as well. The Dark Templar is gonna be spawning very soon. Where did the Dark Templar go? It's still there on the side. But more gateways and cannons are coming up on the side and more pylons. He's trying to break a path into this backside to kill those probes with a future drop, I assume. Although, with shoulders on the way, Reaver is finished. Observer's still there back at home. So a little bit of an oversight there from Brain for getting the Observer back at home because he's trying to push his advantage. He's on very low gas. Supply count still in favor of Brain. Actually, Brain has a huge army advantage here over Beale, but Beale will soon recover with like, he's got like, 16 gateways in total in his base, that's gonna give him the option to recover his army extremely quickly. As Brain is currently on 5 and 6 or 11 gateways, he's behind on total gateways. So once he starts losing units, he is gonna fall behind and the tide might turn in Bill's favor. And Bill is putting on an absolutely amazing fight here. He's putting on an absolutely amazing fight, I'm not sure how he is still alive. All we need right now from Brain is a drop to kill those probes and get himself into the lead definitively once and for all. Supply so lead still in the favor of Brain. Uh, we have level 1 attack and level 1 attack. Level 2 attack on the way there for Bill. Armor on the way there for Brain. Reaver arrives on the scene. Reaver shoots. Reaver does not connect. Zealots are on the chase, getting into cannon range. He's trying to flank. There's so much going on right here. This is actually absolutely insane amounts of micro control and macro look at just look at brain's bank look at brain's bank and bill's bank they're spending as fast as they can while controlling the best they can this is peak protoss against protoss between arguably two of the best players in starcraft at this point in time great storm oh it kills the reaver it kills the shuttle that was exactly what bill needed the supply counts are getting more even because Brain is getting closer to the exact same amount of probes as Bill has probes. So the army difference is getting smaller and smaller. And we have so many gateways here for Bill. So many gateways and so few for Brain. He's now added on two more. So he's now on 13 against, I assume, something like 20 over here. I'm not sure how many it is. I'm not gonna count because too much is happening. And the tide turns. Finally, the tide turns. The cannons behind the gateways killed a lot of zealots. And that turned the army tide, the battle, into Bill's favor. Now Brain really needs a drop. He could really use a drop right now. He has to hit him very soon, or he's gonna get overrun by a massive army that will soon have level 2 attack. That will soon have level 2 attack. That one armor is still on the way there for Brain. He's got Observer in the front. His units are still largely in the gateways. The gateway disadvantage is really kicking in for Brain. 
he's starting to fall behind because he simply cannot produce as fast as Biol can. So Biol now trying to push his advantage. And he will have like 15 seconds of level 1 attack over level 1 armor. I mean level 2 attack over level 1 armor from Brain. So Drop comes in over the bottom. Brain, uh, Biol is moving away, splitting up his probes in multiple directions. Reaver has nothing to shoot on. That drop bombs terribly. Drop comes in on Brain. Brain is running to safety with his probes. There's High Tempest. That's Reaver inside. Reaver shoots. Reaver gets a couple of kills, or does it not? It gets a couple of kills. It gets a lot of kills. Ooh, it gets like 12, 13, 14 kills. Great, great job. But here in the front, Brain manages to fend off that attack. He's losing a lot. Loses his shuttle with something inside. Not sure what it was. But level 2 attack there on Dragoons is really helping him out. We still don't have level 1 armor there for Brain, though. He's getting level 1 armor. He's finishing up very soon. But until then, Biol has an advantage over Brain. Now, luckily, Brain already back on 62 probes, so he is recovering rapidly. But has so many gateways. More than 20. I'm gonna say like 24, 22, not sure, somewhere in between. But the gateway advantage for Biol is huge. And it's really starting to be painful now. Brain is getting torn apart. A lot of drop there comes in over the bottom. Nothing useful on loads, but he's gonna kill maybe a cannon at the bottom. And those zealots at the bottom are going to try to clear out vision as well. Brain is getting pushed back. His supply is down 60. It's looking bad. It's looking terrible. He's got some high templars for a drop, and he's going to have to drop Biol very soon if he wants to make something happen or work. He has to hit Biol right about now. Okay, he's got some high templars. Another drop there coming for him as well. Did he see this drop? He did not see the drop. He's running. He's trying to run to safety, but Storm comes down. Storm kills a lot. Oh, that is a huge one. 33 pro kills. That might just seal the deal. And looks like here comes a drop from Brain. Beal moved away on time. 70 probes still alive. Kills one. Kills only one. And I think Brain is going to call GG anytime now because that was an absolutely great defense from Beal. Brain tried to push the advantage with his army size. But his army size was not enough. Beal managed to hold on and play one of the most clutch defenses I've seen in the PvP in a very long time. Drop on lulls, drop storms, and kills even more of them. Goes down to 24. That is definitely sealing the deal, and Brain calls GG. For game number one, Bill takes home the victory. We're going to be looking at another game between these two from the same day in the next video. Because I sadly don't have a lot of time, and I hope you enjoyed this one. This was a very tense and very intense back and forth we saw brain take a lead over Biel, and then Biel take the lead back and then brain took the lead back from Biel, and then Biel took victory out of the clutches of defeat and managed to make a comeback he's done it very well played so leave a comment like or subscribe leave your thoughts in the comments tell me what you want to see but first in the next video we're gonna be watching Morbio against Brain, Protoss against Protoss.